of course, there's not a lot of uh, feedback when you're doing this to know what it means to say that this point is negative 35 dB or whatever it is. It, and so it's a lot more useful if you can make your audio adjustments on the fly. I'm going to just delete these keyframes. To delete these keyframes, I could right-click on it and say clear. Or I can just drag it off, and when it reaches too far away from the clip, a little garbage can appears, and poof, it goes away. So you can get rid of those keyframes that way. Um, and I'm going to go now and play this clip. And while I'm playing it, I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts to raise or lower the audio level. And so I can make a decision about what I want the quality of that audio to be, the volume of that audio to be, while I'm playing. And that's an incredibly useful and important tool. Uh, I strongly recommend as much as possible making all of your editing decisions while your, your clip is playing. It allows you to be focusing on the content and not the interface of the software. And so in order to do that, uh, you need to use these shortcuts, and those are available in the Modify menu under Audio. You see right here, the gain plus and minus 1 dB is uh, Control plus or minus. It says equals there, but that's because the plus key is the same as the equals key. Press Control plus or minus to go up or down by one decibel. And if you want to go up by a more significant amount, by three decibels up or down, you can press Control left or right bracket. And so very easily, while you're playing, and whatever the clip is under the playhead is going to be affected. So if I press Control bracket up or down, you see my levels going up or down as it's playing. And there's a brief interruption, but it allows me to sort of get a rough sense. I'm just staring. You never seen a guy whose face is on fire and you can adjust those levels while you're playing and as you saw in that menu you can also adjust the pan settings um, we'll talk a little bit more about panning when we get into the mixing section later in the tutorial uh, but for it's important to be aware of what your clips are, are centered or left or right or how they're panned um, so you certainly don't want things coming out of the wrong speaker but again, we'll come back to that a little bit later. But these basic gain controls, while you can choose the menu item, I don't see a whole lot of benefit in that. But the fact that there are keyboard shortcuts associated with that, that's a huge advantage. And this clip that has keyframes applied, if I raise or lower the level, it's adjusting the keyframes. It's leaving the bottom one pinned there at the bottom and raising those up. If I add a couple more keyframes in here, And I go to this section here now, just make some adjustments there. So if I have some keyframes existing and I do a little control up or down, it moves all the keyframes together. So it's adjusting all of those keyframes by one or three decibels, except for that one that's already set to down to the zero, down to negative infinity. So it's never going to raise something off of the floor if you've pulled something to be completely silent. And this is all useful, but it's not... Uh, not everything you need because sometimes you want to be able from the keyboard to adjust the level of an individual keyframe and there is a way to do that but this is a pretty advanced little feature and it's something that's not even available in the default settings if you go into your keyboard layout and say customize and then adjust the levels um, there are four additional controls. Here's the ones that we've been using, gain plus 1 dB, plus 3 dB, and so forth. Those are the ones we've been using, control plus or minus or control bracket. But you see, I've also added shortcuts to these ones here called gain adjust. And this is a subtle difference. You'll have to add these on your own like I did. And what I did was, since these are all control plus or minus or control bracket, I made these shift control plus or minus or shift control bracket. And so when those settings are applied, what that means is that if I'm, in, if I'm parked on a keyframe like this and I do a shift control up or down, I adjust just from that keyframe forward. I don't adjust every clip. And if I'm in a segment between two keyframes, that brings the key, the previous keyframe. So you can limit the control, limit the effect um, by using that. If I do a regular control up or down, you see it's moving all the keyframes to my track. If I press shift and control, I'm limiting it to just, well, I'll move forward so you see a more dramatic effect. I'm limiting it to just that one, uh, the, the last keyframe settings there. See that? So that's a nice little tip that you can use if, you want, if you're interested in customizing your keyboard a little bit and giving you that added control. Again, it's, it's, if you just go in here and type DB, you'll see them gain, adjust, plus or minus, and you can add those shortcuts. You don't have to use the ones I used. You can use whatever shortcuts you want. And then there is one more useful shortcut. If I just type in here and say keyframe, you can see that you can add a level keyframe by pressing 
Option Command K. So while I'm doing all this manipulation, if I'm over here and I press Option Command K, an audio keyframe is added. And if you want to limit which tracks it's added to, you use the controls over here, the auto select control. So if I turn off the auto select control on that, let's just stretch those tracks a little bit. If the auto select is only on for the track A1, not A2, and I press command option K, I just get a keyframe in the one clip, not in the other. And of course, then I can continue to manipulate it using those shortcuts and so forth. So you really can do a great deal of additional key control while you're working straight from the keyboard and doing all sorts of manipulation there. Even navigate to and from keyframes by pressing Shift K to go forward or Option K to go backward. And this will navigate between all the keyframes in your project.